This wall's boring. Hello everybody and this is the contraption we're going to be looking at today. Now I removed the roof from the building so that you could see it easier. But this is based off the concept I showed yesterday. This thingy. The, uh, what do I call this thing? Pop-up banner? Something like that? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting sick, I think. Anyway, over here, I'm just going to show it off. It can swap between two different wall designs. Now, you could use this a few different ways. You could make a cave that transforms into your base or something like that. You could just make a wall that changes when you get bored of it. Um, I I honestly like the previous idea. Maybe I'll do that soon. Uh, but anyway, I guess I'll get on with the tutorial now. Alright, so here are your two walls. You're going to want to build up the rest of the wall. Unfortunately, you can't really swap out those walls. Um, I might be able to figure out something for that, but for now, we're kind of limited. So here's where the walls are going to go. If you're pushing them horizontally, these are the max size of walls. Of course, you can go higher, but if you push, but if you decide to do vertically, which if you guys want, that can be tomorrow's video, then you can make these really wide. You just have to worry about height. So next, out the back here, you're going to want. Or on the settings. You're going to want to put three pistons. And then on this side, do the exact same thing. And we're going to push these ones into the correct position. Because we don't know where we're supposed to be really right now. You can probably guess, but I don't want to go for that work. So instead, I'm just going to stand up this platform a little bit. I'm trying to get that one. Alright. And we're going to come out. Three blocks there, three blocks there, and three blocks there. Place a block higher there and there. Place two blocks there, one there and one there. Right, so redstone dust, a repeater on one tick, a repeater on four, another repeater on four, and then these two repeaters on four. Put redstone dust on these, and that should be need. Now, if you want a button input, which I highly recommend, so you don't have to double flip the lever, the lever or something, um, you're going to want to build a little pulse extender right here. Redstone dust. And now we can press it and test it out, and this should switch it over to another warp block. And that has given us the location we need to build the next one. So, we need to come out here, here, and here. And keep in mind you're going to have to run the wires for the buttons on your own and just do that. Um, you can, except there. You're going to have to wire, run the wires um, on your own because I can't really run every single scenario in which you're going to do or use the button so you're gonna have to do it on your own time figure out how it works um unfortunately we're just now we're just gonna build the extender and assuming you're not but you can actually see the video it'd be hard to believe that you can't um you know this is just how you're gonna do it three redstone Peter on one tick Two repeaters on four ticks, two more repeaters on four ticks, and one piece of redstone dust. And then right here, you're going to want to place redstone dust like that. Alright, so now we're going to run this, and does it work? Alright, it works. Well, that's going to do for today, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave a comment. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.